The NBA trade deadline is here, and the Lakers are wheeling and dealing. Another move made by L.A., and we'll spend some time on this, and I wonder if this is a precursor to something else going on in terms of a... Another, maybe more minor, maybe even a, a, a buyout market move. But Denver is getting Thomas Bryant from the Lakers in exchange for Davon Reed and three second round picks in 2025, 2026, and 2029. I will make some quick notes here on the uh, monetary contract impacts here. Let me make sure I pull it up here. Bryant in the last year of his deal, 1.8 million expiring. Reed's got 1.9 million this year and a non-guaranteed 2.1 million contract next year. Both teams actually create some trade exemptions of fairly similar money there. It's a bit of an interesting move, Will, and my suspicion here is that the Lakers are trying to free up minutes and and opportunities for some of their recently acquired big men. Rui Hachimura, uh, uh, Wenyan Gabriel, potentially is not really recently acquired, and of course you're advantageable too. What do you make of this deal specifically for, for the Lakers side? I'm surprised, but I think you make a good point when you bring up the players that were acquired in yesterday's Russell Westbrook, D'Angelo Russell trade, because you do get Jared Vanderbilt, so maybe it's the plan to kind of open up uh, some playing time for him, and that's why they wanted to ship out Thomas Bryant, acquire three second-round picks, which I think is a good deal. Also, you had some guard depth as well with Reed. Now, maybe they'll start Hatchimer at the four, Anthony Davis at the five, have, have Jared Vanderbilt kind of serve as the backup big to AD. I'm surprised by this move, but the more I think about it, the more it makes some sense for the Lakers. Now, going back to the trade yesterday that brought in D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, and Jared Vanderbilt. You send Russell Westbrook and Juan Toscano-Anderson uh, to Utah. Mike Conley ends up in Minnesota in a blockbuster trade that we saw go down yesterday. So, you know, uh, producer Coop, shout out to him. The first thing that he said when this trade went down with the Thomas Bryant trade, we we're both looking at each other a little bit surprised. He said, Jared Vanderbilt. And I think that's the thinking here to open up the door uh, to have him have a pretty big role in this team. And draft picks, which, again, right. no one... Three, three second-round picks for Thomas Bryant. I mean... They could be any. It's it could not, be a, not bad. Could be a backup big man that you have in the future. I, right. I'm not really that... I feel like there's more coming here, slash maybe the Lakers try to do some other stuff, but I'm not overly uh, in love with this one, but I love the, the D'Angelo Russell trade, so mm -hmm. it... Combine them, I still think Lakers had a great trade deadline. For this trade specifically, we want your guys' thoughts. Grade the trade for us in the comments section. A, B, C, D, or F. If the ad break happens to come here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there, let us know your grade for that trade. A, B, C, D, or F. Over now to Thomas Bryant, some conversation on him. He's only taking about a, a, a three-point shot per game, so... The percentage, a little bit deceptive, but I thought he was having a pretty good year for the Lakers. Yeah. Still only in his age 25 season, 12.1 points per game, uh, averaging about a half block as well. A little high on the turnover numbers, but the usage has been a little bit higher for his minutes there. 25 starts this year, uh, 21.4 minutes per game. But there are other backup options along or at, at the big man spot for L.A. now, so Bryant became a little bit expendable. Yeah, you know, that's kind of my thinking as well. He was having a good year. I think that he kind of met, maybe even exceeded the expectations uh, that the team had for him, averaging over 12 points per game, had a pretty big role starting sometimes, uh, coming off the bench sometimes as well. So I like Thomas Bryant, you know, certainly wish him well in Denver. I think this is a really good deal for the Nuggets, but maybe this is kind of a deal you look at that makes sense for both sides. Today's show is made possible by Athletic Greens. I take AG1 by Athletic Greens literally every day. Get comprehensive and convenient daily nutrition at athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. I gave AG1 a try because I wanted better gut health and I wanted a supplement that actually tastes good. Great. I take AG1 in the morning, and it makes me feel ready to take on my day. Once I've got my kid, baby Livia, one year and three months old, set up with her breakfast, I take my own AG1. I don't feel the need for caffeine in the morning anymore, and I feel energized throughout the day. Plus, AG1 empowers the gut for whole body health, covering my nutritional bases 
of the day literally couldn't be any easier. And that's why I trust Athletic Greens. I mix one small scoop of AG1 with water or with apple juice some mornings and drink it first thing. Done just like that. I like that it costs less than $3 a day. That's pretty good if you ask me. It's a really effective daily habit with the highest quality sourced ingredients. That's a win-win. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. That's athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. Links in the comment section and the description of today's video. I'm trying to do a little bit better, take care of your body a bit better. You should definitely be using Athletic Greens. Try it out today. I do not think you will regret it at all. It's worth noting, Tom, Ramona Shelburne mm -hmm. of ESPN just said this. Thomas Bryant grew, ha grew unhappy with his diminished role since Anthony Davis returned and wanted to be in a better situation. Oh. So it looks like he might have kind of nudged Rob Palenka requesting a trade. Okay. So now he's going to go back up Jokic and yeah. still be a back. Okay. <laughs> uh, whatever. All right. Fine. Yeah. That's fine. I did want to spend just a little bit of time here on this D'Angelo Russell because I think this is a big precursor as to why this deal ends up going down. Uh, Davon Reed is averaging 2.3 points per game, 36.4% from deep on like a three and a half per game. He's playing nine minutes a game. Like he's a backup guard, but I love the D'Angelo Russell deal. And I also love the, we'll get to the little bit here, the Rui Hachimura deal. I think the Lakers have had a great deadline expanding to the Hachimura trade. I'm a big fan of what they've done. I think the roster's in much better shape than what it was even two months ago, whatever. I agree. You know, right now the Lakers are 13th in the West, five games under 500. This is a team well, that needs to start winning games and winning games now. They wouldn't have any mm -hmm. shot at getting into the play in or even making the playoffs. And I think the moves they've mm -hmm. made have made them a much better basketball team. Now, did they land the big fish? Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, did they make a huge mm. blockbuster move? Maybe not necessarily, but you get D'Angelo Russell, who's a really good player, and you're familiar with him. Mm. Uh, you get uh, Rui Hachimura, who I think mm. is a really good up-and-coming player. Uh, you mm. trade Thomas Bryant. Uh, you mm. get some draft capital back in return for him. I think this has been a really solid Deadline for Rob Palenka in the Lake Show. I completely agree. If you guys want more Lakers coverage, this is your spot. If more moves come, we'll break it down. We'll do buyout candidates in the, well, tomorrow most likely here. So hit that sub button. Free Lakers videos, news, rumors, analysis, trades, whatever. We have you guys covered. Hit that sub button. YouTube.com slash at Lakers TV. All right, Will, you think there are any more moves coming? For the Lakers here. Of course, they wing defense, they're, I think that's important. Like, Russell's not a great defender there. Maybe they look that route, but I think if they don't do anything else, they've still accomplished so much already. Yeah, it's. I wouldn't be surprised if they did make another minor move. I don't think they're going to trade for, you know, Damian Lillard or anybody huge like that. Now, Damian <laughs> He's Lillard not available, apparently. Is, is not available. He's been getting calls. Um, mm -hmm. But I would not be shocked if they made another move. But at the same time, I feel like they should be pretty good. It, it feel pretty good about what they've done here in the last couple of days. All right, final thoughts here. You guys can grade the Lakers roster A, B, C, D, or F. Let us know in the comment section. I'm going to go with I for improved. I'm yes. going to cheat yep. altogether and make it just a little bit better from that standpoint.